We've been buddies for goddamn years. <laughs> Boy, I love y'all. Hey, dog, I, I play it straight up, y'all. I got love for Detroit. That's what I do. Y'all something else to me, man. Appreciate that, dude. <laughs> that white dude ran up here with that motherfucker. I know white people out there was just mad. Don't oh, hang the fuck in there. We've been bringing y'all shit for 200 years. About time shit turn around a little bit. I should have I should have flogged the motherfucker when he came up here. That would have really sent the message out. What? Hey, uh, listen, man. This intermission is, huh? What you say? I got some big ass lips. Motherfucker, I'm black. What the fuck you want? Yeah, I got some big ass lips. You's an ignorant motherfucker. Now how about that? Now I got news for you. You better sit your little young ignorant ass down. Cause don't think I come to this motherfucker by myself. Where the spotlight at? Shine that motherfucker. You see that striped suit right there? That motherfucker. Better sit your young retarded ass down before you get the fuck beat out you in front of everybody. Fuck you, you ignorant bastard. Sit your janky motherfucking ass down. You thought I was some little punk ass boy, don't you? You think cause I wear these suits and shit I'm on TV? Motherfucker, I'm from the projects. The oh, fuck, I'll come out there and stab your punk ass. You a silly little young ass boy. You think that you saying I got big lips embarrasses me? These the same big ass lips down at the bank broke, motherfucker. <laughs> we'll see y'all, the kings of comedy, be right back. I just do this when I'm in Detroit, cause I owe it to y'all's ass to come as strong as I possibly can. Cause y'all's ass be sharp your damn self. Plus, you know, after that little altercation, I figured it was gonna be a little shit go down after the show. Y'all wanna make sure my outfit besets the occasion. Because when I get the order to kill that motherfucker, I want to look the part. You understand? Know <laughs> <Yes. laughs> but ain't that amazing though, y'all? Ain't youth an amazing ass process? How many times have you heard that experience is priceless? It's a shame you have to pay for it with your youth. That's a damn shame, ain't it? We all come in here to have a good ass time. I got love for y'all, y'all got love for me. And motherfucker come. I got the shit on my mind too. So, you know, it ain't like I forgot, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just as ignorant if I have to be. Bleed at y'all. Yeah, player. Why not? I, I didn't let him get to me. No, dog, he did, I didn't let him get to me. I handled my business, dog. That's all, sometimes, you know, I'm just, it's always in fun to me, really. But just in case his ass really thought that he could do something with my polished ass, I just tried to demonstrate to his ass that at 42, you really can't fuck with me. Oh, I can't fight your ass no long ass time. But my first 30 seconds is a motherfucker. Oh, I know some real quick shit. Have your young ass tangle up, boy. Huh? 
I just come, but come on in, baby. You've been doing good all night. I ain't even got nothing to say to you. Come on, sweetheart. Just trying to get. Ain't nobody left but me and said the entertainer. That's all. Just me and said the entertainer. We gonna go way the fuck out here now. Lord have mercy. Hey, you know something? I wanna say something. Cause I never really stop and talk to women. And that's who really pays the most money to come see us. Women spend the most money in large numbers to come see us. And we appreciate y'all so much. And sometimes you never get the attention that you need. So I want to stop for just a minute, if I could get everybody's attention, and just say something to ladies. Now listen to me. This is to be no offense to anyone. I don't want you, when I start saying what I'm about to say, to trip, because it ain't that type of thing. I, I'm very respectful towards women, and I'm going to continue to be so. But I want to ask the ladies a question tonight. How many of you women in here, by round of applause, by round of applause, clap if you have managed to keep your weight under 117 pounds? Just clap. And way too many motherfuckers was clapping just then now. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Let, let, let me get to what I'm saying. No disrespect to nobody else. That ain't what I'm about. But I do, for those of you that really are under 117 pounds, I realize how hard of a struggle that is to keep your weight under that level. And I commend you for working so hard. And I have a suggestion to all of you women that are under 117 pounds. After the show is over with, y'all need to carry y'all's ass somewhere and get a goddamn sandwich. Because your ass is too goddamn thin. See, you think that thin shit is the lick. That ain't it. Thin ain't what's happening. See, you done fell into all the hype and shit. You've been looking at Cosmo magazine and, and Vogue, watching all them white girls pose like this, trying to make her ass. Ass look like a paper cutter. Your ass is too thin. See, you thought thin was in. I got a new slogan for your ass, because at 42, you realize when you get grown that it's more to life than bullshit. Fuck thin is in. I got a new slogan for your ass. Damn it. Thick is the lick. <laughs> ah! Boy, it ain't nothing better than putting your arms around your woman and discovering that it is more to her than your ass knew about. See, y'all about that bullshit. All you thin-ass women thought your ass was sexy, didn't you? Little bony ass. Don't know why they won't be laying around with your bony ass all night long. See, that shit is real sexy in the summertime. You got a little G-string jammed all up in the crack of your ass. Little booty look nice and cute. But God damn it, winter is coming. And a real player want a woman that's kicking off some heat. Laying up there next to your bony ass looking like a goddamn guardrail. I like that. Hey, the thin ass women get on my goddamn nerves too. That's all I used to date with little thin ass women. Because I used to like that look, you know. They walk in the room all long and statuous and shit. That shit wild after a while. Can't cut ass nowhere to eat. Don't ever want what you want. You ever took a skinny woman out to eat? Driving down restaurant row? Every time you see a place, you want to say, hey, baby, how about right there? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Well, how about right there? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, God damn it, what about them? No, they cooking with grease. What the fuck is wrong with grease? Some of the best shit I ever ate in my life that had grease oozing all out this shit. You ever been to churches and had that two-piece and a biscuit for 99 cents? You get that big ass thigh, that son of a bitch look like a ham. You bite into that motherfucker grease, run all down your cheek. Why the 
That's some good ass eating. Talking about she don't like cooking with grease. What the fuck is you using? What is you spitting in the skillet? Thin ass women that when you go pick their ass up, they ain't ever ready. Bony ass women, you know why they ain't ready? Cause they thinks they ass is cute. Got all of them got four, five kids, ain't none of them yours. Now you sitting in the living room, they climbing all on your ass, calling you daddy way too early. Fuck off, I ain't your got, I ain't your goddamn daddy. So you get tired of that shit out of a while. I just started dating thick ass women. I said thick, cause thick girls see, they ass, you ain't got to worry about they ass being ready. Mm -mm. They ass is waiting on your ass out on the porch. Motherfucker say at 8 o'clock, you need to come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go! And big girls be thinking of what they gonna order before they get to the restaurant. Girl, I'm gonna get me some fried cheese sticks. I'm gonna get the stuffed mushrooms. I'm gonna get that 21 piece shrimps dinner. You ain't gotta worry about waiting on their ass. They see that car pull up, they ass break. And big girls, you can't, see what well, I like a big girl, cause big girls get excited when they see their favorite place. I oh, ain't about no driving past that motherfucker. You ain't got to point over at it or nothing. Oh, they better not spot there, and you try to go by it. Oh, shit! Oh, I know you ain't trying to pass up the goddamn Dunkin' Donuts. Y'all ready for the show to get started? Everybody see, yeah. Oh, Detroit, I said if you ready for my main man, everybody see, yeah. Here we go, y'all. This the one I've been waiting for. This brother and I have been doing this business together for over 12 years. When I became the star of Steve Harvey's show, they came to me and said, you gotta have a co-star. I told them about Cedric the Entertainer. They said, well, we ain't never heard of no Cedric the Entertainer. I said, well, you better find his ass, cause if I don't get Cedric the Entertainer, I ain't gonna do the goddamn show. So they gave me Cedric the Entertainer. And now, he is here tonight. He took toasting to BT's Comic View a little bit more and a little bit more. He was the star of Def Jam, made his first TV appearance with me on Showtime at the Apollo. He is the 1999 Image Award winner for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. He's my motherfucking boy. He's the co-star of the Steve Harvey Show. Y'all, put your hands together. Detroit, Michigan, show your love. Motherfucking Cedric the 